Nev Campbell didn't want to come back for Scream 3 because she was worried about being typecast. Writer Kevin Williamson wasn't worried about it, saying he had an idea for the sequel that wouldn't include Sidney Prescott whatsoever, and that the bottom line is that the story itself doesn't rely so much on her character. Of course, she did return, but they only had her on set for 20 days. What's up, horror fam? Steven, aka Bojangles here. And come closer, my friends. I have something scary to show you. Today, we're looking at Scream 3. Sydney is now doing the whole adulting thing if you consider becoming a hermit and living like the Unabomber adulting. She works for a women's crisis hotline and for fun takes her doggo for walks. He's a good boy! But then returns to her bubble of paranoia. Meanwhile, Stab 3 is in production, but that naughty ghost face is on the loose again. He's a bad boy! Wreaking havoc on the cast of the film, and of course, Sydney, because everyone either wants to kill her or have sex with her. Like McDreamy here. Let's go over 10 things you didn't know about Scream 3. We all love Randy. So they thought about bringing him back for the third film, surviving the attacks from the second movie, and his family would have kept it a secret. It was decided this would just be too silly. So they brought him back as best they could. Told you I'd make a movie someday, huh? Speaking of survivors who didn't really survive, Matthew Lillard was originally going to return as Stu in Scream 3. He would be in prison and would mentor other ghost-based copycats, convincing them to carry out attacks on fellow high school students, with the ultimate goal of killing Sidney Prescott. Lillard was even paid for this, but the idea was canceled because of the recent Columbine High School shootings, and the studio didn't want the film to be associated with high school violence. Speaking of the Columbine Massacre, the studio was nervous about including violence in the movie, so they didn't want any blood and really didn't want it to be a horror film at all. That's when Wes Craven stepped in and said, Be serious, guys. Either we make a Scream movie or we call it something else. This wouldn't be the end of the battle for the director. He had repeated conflicts with the MPAA over censorship, admitting that this experience really made him consider leaving the horror genre. Angelina Tyler was originally going to be a second killer. It would be revealed that she's Roman's girlfriend and an ex-classmate of Sidney's. Liv Schreiber had been working out a lot recently, so he insisted that he get to remove his jacket for this scene so he could show off his musculies. Pump it. Three months after filming was completed, the studio reshot the original ending because they thought it sucked. Originally, Sydney would easily defeat Roman, the police would arrive the next morning, and then we'd flash forward to Sydney at her home. The end. They reshot the ending with an extended fight between Roman and Sydney. They added Sydney being shot to make the audience believe Sydney could possibly lose the battle. The biggest change is the addition of Detective Kincaid, who was previously missing from the scene, which meant his character would have simply disappeared midway through the movie. John Milton is played by horror legend Lance Henriksen, but Christopher Walken was originally considered for the role. Guess what? I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. Jennifer's bodyguard, Stephen Stone, was originally meant to be played by professional wrestler Stone Cold Steve Austin. Give me another hell yeah! The original ending planned for Scream 3 was very different. Instead of Roman being the killer, there would have been multiple killers again. This time, they would have been super fans of the Stab movies that decided to take their love for the films to an extreme level. When Sydney walks into the house at the end of the film after Ghostface had killed everyone, all the dead bodies would have stood up as the killings were just a ploy to gain fame. Do you think this would have been a better ending? Leave a comment below and let me know. While you're down there, go ahead and stab that subscribe button and ring the notification bell.